Well, as, as you said, Millar, my main work is in publishing. I do editorial work in spiritual publishing. The, I met my spiritual teacher in 1968 in New York City, and I could tell you history about that, but maybe we'll see what kind of questions you might have. I was about your age, maybe some of you might be a little older, I was about 18 at that time, a little older now. And our, my, I'll tell you, I, I spent some time after leaving high school, American system, uh, at university, Carnegie Mellon it's called now, pretty good university. And I saw that students there were there for four reasons. One reason at the time, this was the 1960s, was to avoid the Vietnam draft which was a, quite a good reason for being in uh, university. Mm -hmm. Another reason was they were, some were very career oriented, they were going to go out there and make their mark in the job market. Uh, third group had left high school, they really weren't ready to go into the job market, and mommy and daddy were going to pay for them to spend four years on this, in this park with nice people, beautiful girls and boys, and uh, they could have a bit of leisure for four years and just turn in a few test papers and have a good time. And the fourth group were there because they were looking for knowledge. And it seemed to me at the time that that was the group that was being the most cheated. Because in my experience, if you asked a professor, you know, who are you and, and why are you here and what is the purpose of, of your life and why are we here at this university studying, what is the ultimate point of it all, uh, their answers would be dull. They wouldn't have answers at, at depth. They could tell you what their scholarly enterprise was, they could tell you so many other things. But in terms of delivering meaning, ultimate meaning, it just wasn't there. And what is knowledge if it's disconnected from ultimate purpose? Really it's illusion. Hmm? Knowledge without purpose, knowledge without deeper understanding of the most basic questions, who we are, uh, what our life is for, is, is not knowledge. That, that, on, that thought I had at the time, uh, which is why I left the university community. And by good fortune, sometime later, I came in touch with uh, my spiritual teacher, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, long name. But uh, I found that on the contrary, uh, if you asked him the same questions, he had very definite answers, and he had very definite uh, train of thought underlying those answers, substantial train of thought underlying those answers. And that's where my interest began, um, and that's where I still am. Is that okay for a start? How did I meet him? Well, I met him actually by joining his society. He had at that time a small storefront in New York City. He'd left New York and gone back to India for some time, and it was in his absence that I met his students in New York. And then when he came back about two months later, I met him.